learning the 22 year old suspect now faces five counts of first degree murder and five for committing hate crimes. Investigators also say the assault style rifle used in the attack was purchased legally. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. Another community in America grieving another mass shooting. 92 Battalion 4 reports of 10 people shot. Let's make this a mass casualty. Law enforcement now investigating the massacre at this LGBTQ club in Colorado Springs as a hate crime. Five people shot dead, more than two dozen injured, including Mark Slaw's younger sister and brother, his sister in critical condition at the hospital. There's a lot of trauma that she's taken. It's a nightmare come true. Authorities say 911 calls started coming in at 11. 56 from Club Q on Saturday night. I was bartending making drinks and then I heard like a like a pop pop pop. Once I looked up and I saw the the shadow of a of a, a grown man wielding a rifle. By midnight, the first officer arriving at the scene, and by 12.02 a.m., five minutes after the first call, the suspect in custody, according to police. Witnesses say two heroic club goers charged the shooter. They absolutely risked their lives. Police say the suspect, 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich, was armed with an assault rifle, another gun, and multiple magazines of ammunition. Club Q has been around for two decades, but the owners say they'd never seen the gunman before. Among the five confirmed dead was Club Q bartender, 28-year-old Daniel Davis Aston. Friendly, loving, everybody loved him, and he loved everybody. The suspect was known to law enforcement. He was arrested in June of 2021 following an alleged bomb threat incident against his mother. Many now wondering how someone charged with felonies and considered a threat was able to get his hands on those guns.